No, I, as I said, you know, I thought it was this like hero villain story. Uh, I thought it was the story of, of good versus evil, um, and it ended up being the story of, of the blurry lines between the two. And uh, I heard Al Mazel's once say, um, "If you end up with the story you started with, then you weren't listening along the way." <laughs> and I think that's good advice for for life, and I think that's good advice for filmmaking. I personally am not a huge fan of films. Uh, where it's very clear that the filmmaker just found characters or ideas or storylines to sort of fulfill their own beliefs um, or to sort of reinforce what they think or to um, push this agenda of a certain thing. Um, I think that you know, those films have their place in the world and that's, those are important films. But for me, the beauty of documentary filmmaking and filmmaking in general is opening people's eyes to a world that they've never seen before, meeting characters and worlds and people that you, that you wouldn't normally get to meet, um, and telling stories that people have never heard before. And so that's really what I wanted to do with Cartelland, is take this issue, this issue of narco violence, this issue of uh, the cartel wars, and, and, and see how this issue is affecting everyday people on the ground, not from the outside, not in retrospect, not through government officials or talking heads, but really put myself right in the middle of it.